Do you need help organizing your home? Well, in this series, Organizing with Super Wendy, I'm gonna give you the best tips and tricks to help you organize your home. And in this video, I'm gonna be organizing my freezer and fridge. So, just keep watching. Hello, I'm Wendy from Super Wendy Time here on YouTube, and in this channel, I post mommy videos, organizing videos, and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in videos like this, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for updates on new videos. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be organizing my freezer and fridge because it is overdue. Like I've been wanting to do this forever and just life happens. I know that once I do this and organizing my freezer and fridge, I'm gonna be using everything I have in there because it's gonna be easy and accessible and convenient. All right, so let me show you my fridge really quick. All right, so I'm gonna be sharing all the tips that are really necessary. How to organize with containers. Like I said, um, I bought some of these items from well-known stores. These two containers, I got these at Target. I don't remember the price, but I'll try to link it below. Now, the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree items are awesome because they're a dollar, right? Okay, so these are one of the things. Um, these are for a fridge soda organizer, but we don't drink soda, so I'm using it for other items like fruit or, I don't know, maybe Tupperware, whatever I need to use it for. And it's really cool because it has like a little handle. You can just slide it in and out. And the last thing we're gonna be using is this egg holder thing. You can see how many eggs you have that way. Um, you can use them as fast as you can and very optional but you can write here in um, a dry erase marker when they expire because who wants to eat expired eggs um, and it has a really easy thing so you can either stack more on top if you buy two of these I only bought one but might buy two maybe um, so yeah it's really easy to take off and put back on so yeah those are all my containers I hope you enjoy these and in this step what you're going to do is open your fridge and purge any items that you think um, are expired or you know they're expired or check their expiration date or um, like salads if you know they've gotten all wet and soggy throw them out the next step is to empty your fridge yes empty everything out we are going to be taking everything out of the fridge and as you see I'm using these bins so I can organize everything that way it's not all just on the table unorganized so I, as I'm taking it out, I'm putting it in order by category. When I put everything back, I know what I have of everything. So this is my freezer, really small, really don't like it, but we have to work with it. So what I'm gonna do is take everything out, like I mentioned, and uh, clean it out and then see the best way to put it back in. And now taking everything out of the freezer, you can see all my delicious popsicles on the side that are my like guilty treat, but they're really, really good. Okay, so I'm just taking out everything from the fridge and wiping everything that I can because this fridge needed a good cleaning. Like I said, I clean it every week, but I am basically deep cleaning it. Wait till a little bit later, you're gonna see where I really need to clean. Even clean like the edges with like where the um, fridge closes because there gets like some crumbs or dirt. Make sure to clean everything. And this is just a towel with water on it just to get everything off. It's not good to use chemicals in the fridge because there's always food in there. Make sure to clean it thoroughly because like I'm about to show you, okay. That is nasty right there. All the crumbs that have been falling down. I don't know how long. When was the last time I cleaned this? But it was meant to get cleaned today. I'm cleaning everything that I took out from the fridge just to give it a good wipe. Just um, cleaning it with this sort of brush that I that I recently bought and some water. Um, maybe soap, but I'm not, I don't remember if I put soap in it, um, but yeah, cleaning everything because it's overdue, like I said many times already, just enjoy me cleaning, 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 cleaning. 
Now I am just going to put everything back. So everything that I cleaned, everything that I took out from the fridge and put it back in its place. All right, finally, after cleaning the whole fridge out and everything, um, we are putting everything back. In a little bit, I'm gonna be telling you where is the best place to put everything in your fridge uh, temperature-wise, so stick around for that. I'm gonna be showing you what place in your fridge or freezer is the best place for you to store your food items. So at the top over here, like I showed you, is where you want to keep your leftovers just so they're easy access and like I said any snacks and your veggies and a trick for this is to put a paper towel inside so it absorbs the moisture and it lasts longer so let me show you what I do so I just put a paper towel and close it so I have two I'm just gonna put them in the middle okay something else I learned has been to not wash your, your uh, these kinds of fruit right after you buy them because it makes them have moisture and they don't last that long and um, they they tend to get like soggy so um, unless like you know you're going out in the next day and you want to take some snacks maybe wash it just so you can grab it and go um, but not if you're not going to use it in 24 hours um, so yeah this is my little bin of all like berries and grapes and stuff and I just put this in a little container there you go in the middle is where it's, it tends to be the coldest, so it's where you want to store all your dairy products. In this bottom shelf, I have here a little drawer. Um, I put some chicken or things I need to defrost that I'm going to eat in like 24 hours just to let it defrost in here. Just And put it in here just so it doesn't leak or anything. So it's in this little nice drawer. And I also have some veggies. And here at the bottom, like I said, I'm going to get closer. Have like this kind of type of skin like just I don't know what to call it and then this one I have everything that has like this type of skin and apples and pears this side is best for any condiments sauces etc um, and I did put some cheese here I think this is for the butter but we don't really have any butter sticks I just have mozzarella things and I know they should be in the middle here but for me they just work best here I have some mayonnaise some normal mayonnaise and if you haven't tried this it has lime juice in it so yeah we like that i don't i rarely eat that but have some mozzarella cheese flour tortillas and corn tortillas i just have um butter and i have some snacks here um i have some jello and i've this little thing so i might get some more things to put here and down here i just have some medicine um liquid medicine Mustard, barely used ketchup, um, grape jelly, and some salsa. Okay, so my carrots, I usually chop them up long ways, like this, cut them up long ways, as well as the celery, and I put them in a mason jar with water. I don't remember who was the one that mentioned it, but I think it's a really good idea, and it does make them last longer. Okay, so I'm gonna put So separate your ethylene products and your ethylene sensitive products or items or food. So the reason is because ethylene producing items um, cannot be next to ethylene sensitive items because that um, the ones that are ethylene producing releases like gas that makes other food that's ethylene sensitive go bad quicker. Ethylene producing products, I will put them here. Ethylene producing products. And over here, I will put ethylene sensitive items that way. All right guys, I finally organized my freezer. So let me give you a quick tour. So I have the ice machine right there. I have some potatoes and all the meats in here. As you can see. And then I have some ice patches back here. Some popsicles in order. I have some strawberries here, more up here. And some um, frozen vegetables. So a hack that I did, so I took this bag, cut it out, and cut out the expiration date, and put it into 10 different baggies, one cup or one cup of berries. I put in the expiration date, that way I can tell when they all expire. So yeah, just in the bag, and it goes up here. 
all right guys i am done with my fridge organization so let's check the fridge out guys we are done i hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to organize your fridge because it's something you use on a daily basis and it's important for it to be neat and organized that way you can access all the food and not have it go bad and it saves you money you know like i feel horrible when something goes bad i'm like oh i really wanted to eat it and i just didn't see it so i really hope all these hacks and tips helped you want to organize your fridge so make sure to give this video a thumbs up Leave a comment below with the best tip that you have um, learned today or any tip that you have that you need to share that you think would help me or anyone else that watches these videos. I post once a week so this organizing uh, series is going to be amazing. Literally every part of my apartment is that I'm going to be organizing so stay tuned for many many more organizing videos. Check out my playlist which is organizing with Super Wendy playlist. Alright so make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to be your best, look your best, and feel your best. Until next time, bye guys.